Hi everybody and welcome back to Franklin Cattle Farms. Today on the channel we have a Bagheera LRP Premier. This particular rifle is chambered in 308 Winchester and is topped with a 4.5 to 14 Leupold VX3i sitting in a Leupold Mark II IMS. Um, this is the most expensive rifle we've had on the channel so far. This one belongs to the original Franklin Cattleman, the one of the farm's owners who's sitting right behind camera watching me make a fool out of myself. And uh, he wanted a rifle that could shoot well under 1 MOA at 100 yards and be a tack driver out to 1,000. Now, this rifle does exactly that. We were just messing around here doing some uh, factory load testing here. This is uh, Federal uh, Gold Medal Match. 168 grain, top with a Sierra Match King. Now, this stuff has proved to be very accurate in this rifle and everything that we've ever fired it out of. However... At 450 yards, we just did a uh, preliminary group, and that preliminary group produced produced a one and a half inch, one and a half inch three shot group at 450 yards. Now that is pretty amazing, if you ask me. This rifle is based off the Remington 700, so it is a uh, you know it uses Remington 700 bases, and you can use Remington 700 triggers, and so on and so forth. It's a very adaptable system. This one, however, is fully blueprinted, so everything in the action has been squared to itself and to the rest of the gun. The bolt is a Savage style floating bolt head. There is a little uh, washer in here that allows a small amount of correction in the headspace of the cartridge. So if there's a slight deviation in the actual case itself, that bolt head will try to compensate for it in order to be as the consistent as possible. Well, oh, and this rifle is also fitted with a Timney trigger. This is a flat face trigger. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, you can be very accurate with it. Um, this rifle is also fitted with a 20 MOA rail. I can't remember the manufacturer of that rail at the moment. However, one of my favorite features of this rifle, other than the, you know, the looks of the whole thing, is the muzzle brake. That's a uh, dead air muzzle brake set up to support a dead air Sandman L suppressor. Um, hadn't quite got the paperwork in on that one yet, but I'm sure that won't be uh, long. Um, that muzzle brake is very effective in its job. And trust me when I tell you it's very loud. Um, we, uh, I learned that firsthand had an incident where I didn't have my ears on when I needed to have my ears on. And well, it's loud. Um, the bolt is uh, fluted circumferentially. It's real nice. Um, other than that, the whole gun is just a very, very tight and clean setup. Um, it's topped with the loophole VX3i, like I said. This is a 4.5 to 14 by 50 with CDS and side focus. Um, the loopholes for, for me and my friend here they seem to do the best. I mean, until you get up to the Schmitten Benders or Tails, uh, you know, or the other assorted high-end brands, Leupold gets there and does it at a good price with the best, one of the best warranties in the industry. Um, you'll probably hear that a lot on this channel as we review more guns, you know, so on and so forth. We like Leupold, so sorry to you Vortex guys, um, if the, or well, Bush now, I don't think there are many of you out there. But uh, <laughs> uh, probably just made somebody's day worse. Um, but well, let's do a little shooting with it. We've got the dope, dope set up for uh, 450 yards. And uh, well, let's see if we can't get three to ring steel. It's set up for uh, AICS magazines. These are reasonably hard to find, um, at least where we are. Um, we had to have this one. This is, a, this is a 10 rounder. We had to have this one custom ordered. And this one came with it. These are both Magpul uh, Gen 3 P Mags. Excellent, excellent products. So let's see what we can do here. I've got my uh, nice couch cushion here set up as a uh, as a rest. Happen to forget my little bean bag. So let's see what we can do. And it just has a standard Remington 700 style safety forward. Forward is fire, back is safe. Um, some of the rifles I own are European and backwards, so <laughs> a 
always uh, have to remind myself about that one. Let's see what we can do. That was a hit. And believe it or not, that was in the exact same spot as the last three that we just fired about 45 minutes ago. So there's a whole change in temperature and everything. This rifle with these, this particular type of ammunition is very, very consistent, or seemingly so. Just slightly to the left. That was about, as far as I can see through the scope, about two inches away from the last point of impact. Now, I remind you, this is this is 450 yards. As you can see, the muzzle brake blew that loophole cover. There's quite a blast coming from this thing, but it really does tame the recoil of the 308 very well. It's kind of like shooting a 243. It's really not so bad. There's a hit, and now that was right in the center of that other group as well. It would appear, just screwing around here, that we just shot about a two and a quarter inch group at 450 yards. Now, that being, I was a little bit rushed considering I'm getting filmed here, but hey, um, I can give you all a couple close-ups here before we end the video completely. I'll edit those in. Okay, so we... Uh... We're going to cut this into the video. Um, this is our 450 yard plate. This is a uh, roughly foot and a half by foot and a quarter. I can't remember the exact measurements if you excuse me. Um, it's been a long day of shooting. Um, this, this plate is uh, just mild steel. I cannot remember the exact grade of steel, but uh, right here, these are our um, just load development screwing around groups. Um, we uh, were trying another ammunition and uh, it just weren't working out. Um, right here, this entire section, this paint removed, as you can see there's craters throughout it. We've shot at closer ranges than uh, 450 with this. Um, these dimples here, 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 and here, and here are all rounds from that particular Bergera with that 168 grain Sierra Match King. Um, this right here, one, two, three, was the, first, was the three shot group that I was referring to in the video. This three shot group, right there, and right there, and right there, was the one that I shot in the video. Um, as you can see, the rifle is very capable of good accuracy. This was, uh, this is just messing around during the video. I'm surprised, I, I, I genuinely can't believe I shot that well in that video. Um, it just goes to show you what, you know, a rifle and good ammunition will do. Um, and now we'll, we'll cut back to the regular video. All in all, Bergera seems to make an excellent rifle. Um, me and my friend here, we actually went to one of Bergera's um, shooting events in Middle Tennessee, the Bergera Experience, just to, uh, well, mainly to get the chance to see some of their new products and to shoot at 1,000 yards, which we have not been able to do at this particular location at, you know, yet. Um, the guys at Bergera were very, very friendly couldn't have been more helpful in demonstrating their rifles and their abilities of their rifles. There were people there unloading, they went through thousands of rounds of 6.5 Creedmoor. I personally shot a four inch group at a thousand yards with one of their new HMRs, which I was, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, these rifles had been shot day after day throughout their um, touring you know, schedule and had thousands of rounds through them. And these things were smoking hot when we shot them and they still managed to group at distance. So there's a lot of engineering that goes into these things. And uh, all in all, the guys we talked to at the company seem to be excellent. And they uh, had a lot of love for the product that they're distributing and a lot of product, you know, a lot of love for the product that they're making. Um, I like that. It doesn't bother me in the least that they're, you know, the company was started in Spain. Um, some of the best rifles in the world are made in Europe, and uh, you know, just just look at CZ or Seiko or anything anything of that nature. Um, you know, they they took a design, you know, the Remington 700, and made it better in certain ways, and managed 
you know, for for a rifle that costs, you know, in our region when you can find them or when you can order them, this is about an eighteen hundred dollar rifle, topped with a you know seven hundred dollar optic, you know, so on and so forth. It's not cheap, but considering what it can do for that price, it's a deal. And uh, well. See you next time on Franklin Cattle Farms. Maybe we'll pull this thing out again and uh, really see what she can do. Get some more shots of the groups and uh, maybe cut some holes at 100. And uh, that, guy sh that should give you a good representation of what the gun can do. And uh, thank you guys for watching.